Today is Sunday, February the 11th, 2024. And well, this video was supposed to be the final phase, I guess three of the wing building series. And I have a playlist just on the wings uh, that's on the uh, channel. And once I get this finished, I will I'll put that up there. But the reason I can't com continue on with the wings, I've had a couple of issues with parts. Uh, this is the right wing and the right fuel tank, and the skin was damaged in, in uh, transit, which kind of created a problem. I, I, you know, I, it was like a little piece of uh, metal underneath the skin that kind of made a little indention, and it almost looked as if it fully penetrated the skin. And I didn't really feel comp uh, you know, confident or comfortable uh, continuing on using that skin, so... That's the skin up here, and uh, Sling is gonna do me right, and they're gonna send me another skin. So that is uh, on order, so I have to wait on that. And then there's also a couple fittings um, that did not come with my kit that are also on order, and so I'm waiting on those things. So now, once the, uh, once the wings are, once, once, I, once I actually receive all the parts I need for the fuel tanks, then, I'll go ahead and start sealing. Here's the sealing, uh, the sealant with the 3204 uh, sealant that's used for this. It is a uh, uh, class B and it's, uh, so this, this black is the catalyst and you push the catalyst in with this and then once the catalyst is in, you can mix it and uh, you can see on the end here, I've enlarged those holes because I've actually made my own tool that I'll just push in there and uh, use that to mix the, uh, the sealant up when we're ready. I've got four tubes, hopefully two for each fuel tank, and uh, I'm gonna do it all at the same time. So I'll probably just do a separate video on the uh, sealing of the fuel tanks. So that's why the wings are where they are. Just look over here real quick. I've got some parts I've actually suspended up here. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. Okay, so I've got, both ailerons, there's aileron, aileron, both flaps here, uh, rudder, vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer, and then all the way over here, I've got the elevator suspended, and you can see I've got the counterweight on there as well. And once I've suspended it, it's perfectly balanced. So that looks good. So. Now, what I've done since uh, the wings are in limbo, I've started working on the, uh, the rear fuselage, and here's all the parts on the pegboard for the rear fuselage, and this is where I am now. Uh, started with the, you know, I've got the plans over here, of course. Started with the tail cone, completed the tail cone, and then the uh, bottom skin, for the rear fuselage is installed and I've got a, another part missing. This is a uh, inspection plate spacer and holder and it just it's just not in the kit. So that is also on order as well. So right now, uh, the next step on this part of the rear fuselage is just gonna be mounting the, um, as we see here, we'll get down here. This is going to be uh, the step support fitment. So all this is gonna be coming into play here in a second. And then you can see the, the exploded details of that. And then we'll start putting the lower skins on the rear fuselage. So not a lot to report. Um, let's see, I thought it was interesting. This is the uh, spar carry through that I've unpackaged since uh, opening the fuselage kit. So really it gives you a good idea of the width of the cabin through here. And then you can see what I like about this is it actually, as you, um, as it goes up, it gets a little bit wider. So certainly a lot of room in that cabin. I'm looking forward to that. And I was just really impressed with the detail of the carry through spar and just the strength and um, all of that. So 
and it kind of gives you an idea of how everything's going to go together once the wings are mounted. Um, let's see, other than that, can't think of a whole lot more. Um, got most of the boxes opened up over here. The only thing I have left in boxes is this is the undercarriage and the spring gear, tires, brakes, etc. And this is uh, some of the Ford or actually firewall stuff here. Uh, Sling did let me know that the canopy is on its way and I did order the engine. I'm, I'm going to go with the 915 Rotax and went back and forth on that between the 915 and the 916 and my reasoning for staying with the 915. So in case you didn't know that when I ordered the kit, the 915, well actually the 916 had not been introduced. So I ordered the kit and probably a couple, two or three months later, the 916 became available. And the only difference with the 916 and 915 is uh, an extra 20 horsepower on takeoff and climb. So you have five minutes of an additional 20 horsepower. And, uh, I, you know, I just said, well, the, yeah, the, the couple things with that, that you're going to have to have a, a canopy or excuse me, a, a cowling conversion to go with that, uh, 916 and that's going to be about seven grand from sling and then the difference between a new 916 and a new 915 is about seven thousand dollars so thirteen fourteen thousand dollar difference there um just couldn't really see makes sense to spend that money just to get that extra 20 horsepower and i don't hear a lot of people complaining about the 915 and like they say, version one of anything, I don't want to be a test pilot. So maybe one day we'll upgrade it to the 916, but I gave it some serious thought and I just don't think I'm going to do the 916. So anyway, 915 is on order and should be here in a couple weeks. So we'll talk more about that soon.